Okay, so mistake number one. I see this all the goddamn time. Like, oh yeah, look, I got my like epic drum sounds going here. I'm gonna play these. Like, yeah, bro, this is like part of like my signature sound, bro. It's like they're like sitting there thinking like, oh yeah, why isn't this hitting? Like, I hope it's good YouTube. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your drums slap in FL Studio. Basically, I'm gonna be showing you guys like simple reasons to why your drum patterns aren't hitting the exact way you want to and how you can fix them. Quickly before this video starts, if you want any of the drum sounds or samples that I use in this tutorial, there's a link in the description where you can download them completely free. But yeah, enough for me, let's get into the video. Okay, so mistake number one, I see this all the goddamn time. It's like, oh yeah, look, I got my like epic drum sounds going here. I'm gonna play these like, And they're like sitting there thinking like, oh yeah, why isn't this hitting? Like mistake number one, if you use bad drum sounds, it doesn't matter how well you mix them. It doesn't matter how good your patterns are. It doesn't matter how good the rest of the beat is. Your beat is not gonna hit if the drum sounds aren't crispy, tight, and hard. Simple way you fix this, better drum kits, better drum sounds. It's that simple. I feel like people way too often with their drum sounds treat them kind of like melodies in the sense that they think like everything they need to do needs to be like unique and all the drum sounds that they add need to be different. But like in reality, drum sounds are a lot more fundamental in the sense that like if you have drum sounds that are hitting and that work like why you don't really need other drum sounds and you don't really need other drum kits like for example i got my drum kit here and i make sure that every single sound is like hitting really hard so like when i play a drum pattern like this for example that like right there is hitting way better than what we had before okay mistake number two. Oh yeah bro this is like part of like my signature sound bro it's like uh, like super complex drum sounds are like part of my signature sounds like no bro like using drum sounds like this that are like way too overdone i know this is an over exaggeration but using drum sounds that are way too overdone have way too many rolls and hit way too many times is a massive mistake i see nowadays bro like if you are in the studio playing beats like rappers or artists like they're like i'm gonna call a space spade Half the time their asses are high, drunk, or they're just coming back from the club, or they're tired because it's like three in the morning. Like bro, they are not trying to hear like your over complex beats. They need something that they can see themselves in. They need something that's simple, especially nowadays where like as life gets harder and harder, I feel like people need like simpler and simpler music to listen to. Keep it simple, like don't overdo it like this. Like you don't need to have crazy hi-hat rolls. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So let me just like fix this real quick. Okay, so let's say I got this beat going and I wanna put like a hi-hat roll right there and maybe Maybe I want to put like like a hi-hat roll like right there. These are two different types of hi-hat rolls because like there's a different amount of hi-hats hitting in each roll. And that's what I mean by types of hi-hat rolls and not having too many. Like usually like nowadays you'll only see at best like three of these in an actual beat that gets placed. Usually though like I'd stick to like two. I find that like for me personally works best because you kind of want to find like a balance between keeping things like simple as well as like not having them be too boring. So the best balance for me is like two hi-hat rolls that are different like this for example. And maybe like next time to keep it just a little bit more interesting like I'll pitch this down and then like I'll move this like over here like that that's gonna be super simple and that's gonna give the rapper something that he can actually use because like his brain can kind of like process like what's going on and he can kind of like have it sit in the background and not give it too much attention this is a tip specifically you see with newer producers because a lot of more experienced guys know this take your goddamn fruity limiter off your master it sucks it, it's like I don't know why FL keeps putting it on there but it's not what you want the real thing you want is this so this right here is probably like the biggest secret to making your drum slap is using like a fruity soft clipper on your master and what that's gonna do is it's gonna peak at zero db so it doesn't like distort and go over that but at the same time it allows you like turn your drums up without having them like clip too much and like ruin the bounce of your beat so yeah it's really just gonna make your drum sounds like a little bit more crispy so like if i were to play without the soft clipper it would sound like this and that's hitting but it's distorting like crazy so if i were to play it like this You see how that sounds just like slightly more clean and still like really crispy with the drums. And yeah, next tip for me personally, like putting like some sort of an EQ, like let's say around like, I do like 4 dB on like my beats nowadays and like the high end is super important because that's gonna make your drums like super crispy because like the best drum sounds, like in reality, when people say I mixed my drum sounds, what they're really talking about is they just like turn the high end up and they just like limit them a bunch. Generally, I don't touch the mids cause I've been sending beats to like studio artists and like label artists. And like when you're playing like stuff in like an actual studio Room, the mids are gonna like stand out when you really boost it like this so like I don't do this but I just wanted to show you this because this is the general shape that like all hip-hop like drum patterns are mixed around so yeah this general shape like if you use this I promise you it's gonna make your drum sounds hit like 10 times harder okay real quickly I'm just gonna make like a five minute melody to demonstrate to you guys what I'm talking about here Okay, so this is another super common mistake I see all the time. They got their drums playing like this and sure they're slapping, but they don't understand that they could be slapping way better. They got their melodies playing and their drums are slapping. It sounds something like this. 
and yeah like that's simple and that's gonna play but like when people do this they don't understand that their beats could be hitting so much harder if they just eq out the low ends of their goddamn melodies like especially with low ends man like your 808s and kicks they're gonna hit so much harder if you just remove the low end and give space for your drums to breathe because drums are always supposed to be above your melody so like you need to do whatever you can to mix your melodies so the drums stand out more and not like not the other way around so yeah now that i've eq'd out the low end it's gonna sound like this And just like that, our drums are slapping like way better. Again, emphasizing on the point I was just making, another common mistake would be like to have your drums, for example, like hitting way below your melodies. Just always, again, make sure that your drums are leveled way higher than your melodies. Like that's super important. All right, next mistake. Okay, so now you got your beats like going and they're like, you think you've leveled them and you got something going like this. And you can hear that's not slapping. And the reason that's not slapping is because the relative drum levels to one another is not working out properly because they're not accurate to like what a hip hop beat should be mixed to. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is something I referenced to in my mixing tutorial. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. And that's that the kick, the hi-hat, clap, 808, and snare need to be like relatively level to one another where the kick stands out the most, then the clap, then the 808, then the snare, then the hi-hats, and then the perks and like open hats or whatever. You stick to those like general types of levels and then your beats are going to slap so like for me personally my drum kits are pre-leveled to already have this so i don't have to like mix them in fl studio so i just to reset this now compared to what we had playing before it would sound like this as you can see now like the drums are going to be slapping so much harder because i'm doing it. okay last tip but this one's still super important a really easy way you can make your drums slap harder especially nowadays because it's way more popular with people's beats is just using this out knob and just like tightening the hell out of your drums and like i can't put emphasis on this enough especially with hi-hats like nowadays like people are just like turning their hi-hats like this especially when you're like using like you know super stubby 808s like let's say i do something like this this is a very common thing, by the way, like out knob like this with the 808s, FX knob like right around here. And the amp is like usually around like 10%. You hear that 808 like right there with the spins 808 all the goddamn time in beats nowadays. So you can try that out. But yeah, like the 808 is going to be hitting like this now. And now the hi-hats are going to be tightened. And, you know, especially with like claps and whatnot, you can do like this to trim them a little bit and get rid of build like the access like reverb that comes with them. Yeah, and really just like play along with it and just take the like minute or so to really just like mess with these knobs and your drum sounds, just make them sound like a little bit harder than they were before and yeah that's basically every single tip that you need to know to make your drum slap i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was kind of a rant but i feel like it's so important that people understand this because this is probably like the biggest thing i see wrong in people's beats when they're submitting them to me and yeah in short good drum kits tightening your drum sounds well mixed having a proper master, increasing the high end, using good drum sounds themselves and understanding how to level them properly. Also while keeping your drums super simple, but at the same time, not too simple to the point where they're boring is the key to making your drum slap in 2021. Instagram and Twitter at Fin of the God. Also go in the link in the description if you want to check out the new Discord that I made, as well as check out my Beatstars page to buy some of the drum kits I use in this video. And I'm out, peace.